Filipino veterans. Give us equality. So we can have our dignity. Especially the Filipino community that's been there since the 50s or maybe longer. The seniors or manongs that was uh, displaced from the I Hotel had moved to the South of Market, and we won't let uh, projects like 5M, which is on Fifth Mission, continue to displace the Filipino community. We were displaced in the uh, in. Kearney Street, we were displaced in your, uh, where the Metreon sits, and we're not going to take this placement here in the South of Market. <laughs> um, for the last 16 years, the Veterans Equity Center has been participating in parades like this. And for the last 16 years, it's the same message, which is very sad, that we're still trying to get recognition for the Filipino World War II veterans. <laughs> How long are we going to do this? How many more parades do we have to do? And how many more students need to get involved to make sure that we get the recognition? I just want to thank the students, the student organization. You have been a great support and it is a source of inspiration to all of us who day by day will have to face the veterans and will have to tell them, I'm so sorry, we cannot give you any benefits because the U.S. government hasn't done anything for you. So according to Barack Obama, there are 6,000. We're going to bury one veteran this coming week, one veteran who lived in the Tenderloin. How many more veterans will have to die until we see a recognition? So there are just so many bills in Congress. We have congressional gold medals. We have benefits. We have equal recognition. You know, but America needs to really do something. They really need to start doing their work right now. It should have happened 70 years ago. But, you know, with you, we have a voice. We have to make sure that we have to add to the voice of the remaining veterans. And every single one of you is instrumental in doing just that. From the bottom of my heart, on behalf of the Veterans Equity Center, its staff and its 